In this short video, we're just going to look at utilising the screen off button on the two nav range of GPS devices to help with your battery life and potentially help you when you want to keep the screen on for longer. So one of the things that will always use more battery on any GPS device is your backlight setting and how long you have the screen on. At GPS training, as default, when we send out the two nav GPS devices, we normally have them set so after 30 seconds, the screen goes off and that will help obviously save your battery. But some customers like to have the screen on longer, sometimes 30 seconds isn't enough. You can change that setting, but then again, you find you've set it too long, etc. But what's nice on all of the two nav devices, we have a button on the side of the unit that's pre-programmed to simply take the screen off, but keep your unit recording. It's still on in the background and you actually have a blue light flashing on the front of the screen to show you that the unit is still on. So when we talk about battery life with the three units I've got in front of me, the Adventure 2 Plus, which is the biggest unit on the left-hand side, that one is potentially a 36 hours battery. That is based on GPS recording only and with the screen on at about 50% backlight. The one in the middle, which is the Terra unit, we're looking at approximately 15 hours battery. But again, that is based with the screen being on all the time, 50% backlight, GPS recording only. And the smaller of the three units on the right hand side, the Cross Plus, potentially a 20 hours, exactly the same. The figures based on the backlight at 50% and the screen being on all the time. But of course, we can improve back, um, battery life by not having the screen on all the time. So as default, if I just tap on the, the bar at the top of the units, the status bar, we see an option called brightness. So you see on all of these units, I've actually got them set at 50% brightness. If I just use the middle one as a demonstration, because they're all the same, if I tap on brightness, as default, the units are normally set as auto brightness. This is a couple of little sensors on the front of the unit that detect the light conditions and automatically adjust. We are finding that we prefer to have the auto brightness turned off and just 50% backlight. We can adjust the backlight here, but the one setting that we've started changing where it says shut down screen, when you get your unit from ourselves, this will be set at 30 seconds. Now we're finding, because we've now got this nice simple button on the side of the unit, do we really need to have that at 30 seconds? So I'm gonna leave that one at 30 seconds. On these two other units, we've got them both set so the screen will not shut down. And I'll just show you a demonstration of the button that we were talking about. So what will happen on the Terra unit in the middle, after 30 seconds, that screen will go down to save battery. But what you're gonna see on the two units on the side, the screen of course, will stay on. And what we can actually do is just use this button on the side, which is programmed to take the screen off. So see the Terra screens now went off. Now when it goes off in this mode with the 30 seconds, we can simply tap the screen and it comes straight back on or touch any button. What we like about the on off button function, so if I use the Adventurer 2 first, we've got the power button on the side. If I simply tap that in once and let go, and I'm gonna do exactly the same on the Cross Plus unit. So it's the power button, which is the top right hand button on the side, one single tap. You'll now see on the units, we have a blue LED that flashes periodically, that's telling us the unit is still on. The advantage is with this mode, when we tap the screen, it doesn't accidentally come on. So if you're carrying it in say a case or rucksack pocket, you're not gonna accidentally turn it on. The buttons on the Adventure 2 don't turn it on. The only way you turn it back on, now bear in mind this is the screen, not actually powering the unit on, it's still on in the background recording, we simply Tap the power button once on the side, it's just firm press there, there's a waterproof button. I'll hold up the cross plus and do the same. Power button on the side and the unit is straight back on as in the screen. It was actually still recording in the background if you were recording. And on the Terra unit, I tap the screen to bring it back on. So we're finding, if I just go to that status bar at the top, where it says brightness, 
we tend to turn off the auto brightness now, put it at about 50% backlight, and where it says shut down screen, if you do change that to never rather than one of the other settings, just remember when you finish looking at the screen and you don't need to use it anymore, whatever screen you're on, just a simple power button on the side, one single tap, you know it's still on because you've got the blue light flashing on the top every now and then. You can't accidentally bring it on by tapping the screen and just a single tap on the power button and the screen is back on. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have purchased a 2Nav GPS device from GPS Training, remember you do get free access for a year, our gold support package where you get email and telephone support and access to all of the training videos that we're putting together on using the three units. Um, you get that for a year. You can if you go to gpstraining.co.uk website under the GPS store and support packages, you can purchase a support package for one of the current 2Nav models. So the videos that we've done cover the Adventurer 2 Plus, the Terra and the Cross Plus. And because the smaller unit, the little rock unit that we don't stock at the moment is basically the same as the Cross Plus, just a couple of buttons in a slightly different place, you would be able to utilize the videos if you had the rock unit as well. And thanks for watching.